Ignat Korchagin, and I my talk was uh, what is Linux key store and why you should use it in your next application. I think the the best uh, thing I can describe is that the keys in the system will be automatically destroyed when your application terminates, even if it terminates abruptly, like crashes or something. And the main indicator that you should look into this technology if you are developing a service, any kind of service, and then you have security and compliance people often coming after you and say, we have this security requirement that your cryptographic keys should be securely destroyed in, when they are not used. And it's it's easy to do in very low level languages like C or C++. It's very hard to do in like higher level languages, Python, Go, or Java, especially the ones having a garbage collector. And like people just omit that part, but like it always creates a tension between developers and security folks. So security folks ask for that. And developers say like, we can't really implement this because it's not possible within the language. So like when you get into that point, this is like the exact uh, time to look into this technology. <laughs> I, I forget the official name of that uh, uh, graph, which is like a uh, technology adoption slope. So we have like uh, really a spike of an adoption, then drop down and then plateau of uh, real world use cases. So I think like a couple of years ago, it was this like hype. Now we're in this uh, little bit dip, but eventually, it's useful and like it's not useful for everything so people now try to shuffle it in like where it doesn't fit it's not useful for everything but there are definitely use cases where it will be useful it will be developed and then we'll get into this plateau so now we're probably in the dip but it will it will get better but not as like hypey as it was five years ago i can see already like implications of uh, like Specifically for developers, like, for example, I'm a really bad artist. Like, if I need an illustration, I, kinda, I cannot, like, survive without external help. And, like, instead of going and asking people who are good with writing, I can just ask AI to generate really good, like, images for myself. And it's like, this is like a lifesaver for me. But sometimes uh, when they shuffle AI into... Uh, chatbot systems where you want to get real person support with your particular case and you get canned response is probably not a good use case. Right. Oh, well, definitely very nice place to be in. A very big conference. You have a really lively audience, uh, great organizers. Uh, and then, and yeah, they, the venue is beautiful. And I've also seen some side scenes around, like Malaga is just uh, Great, and I, I learned that like w the city is being developed to support more IT and, and uh, like programming opportunities. So it's not just a tourist destination, and I'm really like looking forward to see how it like flourishes and develops. So it's it would re be really nice to have a Silicon Valley in Europe actually <laughs> in a place like Malaga.